Hammer mills grind by impact, which is most efficient with dry, low-fat ingredients. Hammer mills have a central rotor that rotates very quickly. Attached to that rotor are swinging hammers on stationary steel rods, and attached to those rods are individual hammers. These hammers can all pivot independently, so they end up traveling anywhere from 18,000 to 25,000 feet per minute while hitting grain that is moving through the grinding chamber. The ingredient, such as corn, is fed through a delivery device at a set rate and a hammer strikes an individual kernel. The impact of that shatters the kernel into smaller pieces. Some of those pieces are small enough to fall through a screen on the sides of the hammer mill right away. Others are too large to fit through that screen, so they bounce off the screens, and the motion of the hammers hitting them multiple times is enough to reduce their size to fit through the screens. Most hammer mills have a horizontal drive shaft which suspends vertical hammers. There is also a vertical hammer mill that is more commonly used in Europe. You can change the final particle size through a number of methods. First, the hammer mill rotor may be set to have a greater rotations per minute, or the hammers may be adjusted to have a smaller gap between the hammer and screen. Either would increase the likelihood of a hammer hitting the kernel, thus reducing particle size. In addition, the primary method for changing particle size is by changing the screen size on the hammer mill. Small holes in the screen equal a smaller particle size. Finally, some hammer mills have an air assist system which is like a vacuum that helps pull particles through the screen. This makes for a more consistent final product because the particles that are small enough to fit through the screen are more likely to exit the grinding chamber instead of being hit multiple times by other hammers. This also helps reduce dust in the process area. Because the metal hammers are the primary parts that are used to strike the corn, they must be maintained in order to preserve their efficacy and maximize grinding efficiency. Hammers that are not maintained can wear down and increase the gap between the hammer and the screen. In addition, there is a potential for the hammers to be thrown off the rotor and through the screen, or for hard material in the inbound grain, such as rocks or other metal, to cause hammers to break or chip. Again, those parts may then cause a tear in the screen. Because all the ground material is filtered through the hammer mill screen, the grinding process can actually be thought to remove a number of potential physical hazards. However, a hole in the screen may result in hammer parts or other material to be part of the ground product. To protect the equipment, there is typically a magnet located above the grinding chamber so that extraneous ferrous metal is not hit by the hammers and end up tearing a screen. Still, this is one place where there is potential for a metal hazard to be introduced. Lockout tagout is employed to maintain the equipment. Lockout tagout is a personal safety program where an employee working on a piece of equipment, such as for maintenance, must use a lock to physically lock the switch in the off position in the motor control center and hold the key in his or her pocket to prevent the equipment from accidentally being turned on.